welcome back to Urban Rush. I'm just checking out the new ride. You know what? If you want to save some money, you need to get yourself on one of these. And here to explain more with charts and everything is Steve Milosev. He's joining us from Greenwit Technologies. Hello, Steve. Steve, how are you? Hi. Yeah, I'm I'm how cool do I look? Oh, wicked. Hey, just, you're amazing. You know what? You're lucky you're already engaged. <laughs> yeah, I know. Now, Steve, explain to us uh, what these bikes are and what they do. Uh, these are electric bikes by law. They are classified as uh, electric bicycles, so legally they can go anywhere a regular bicycle can go. But uh, as you see, they look like a motorcycle. They're electric scooters. They are pretty stable because they have a low center of gravity. Yeah. And uh, when you go in the city, in uh, urban, uh, uh, you know, in, uh, yeah. in the downtown, you're beating basically the traffic because it's uh, you go in the bike lanes. Oh, and that's and legal. So you don't have to keep these ones in particular in the flow of traffic. No. What about no. driver's license and, and insurance and stuff? No driver's license is required. Really? No insurance is required. What? You can park them on the sidewalk <laughs> just like a bicycle. Uh, you don't have to pay for parking. So uh, for uh, busy places, they are very money. efficient. And you know what? We want to tell people a little bit about these. And uh, it's time for science class, kids. But there don't worry, go. I'm not going to explain. Steve is. Run <laughs> us uh, through some of this stuff. Yeah, well, this, this one shows the, the pollution, of the domestic pollution, and as you see, the pollution coming from the transportation is, uh, amounts up to 50%. And uh, that's what this one, it comes, uh, the electric transportation, to reduce this chart to lower percentage. Right. Excellent. Okay, we'll move on to the next page. Okay? Yeah, you guys go. I can handle the science class here, kid. You go have some fun. You and Colin and Bandit, you go ride around. This one shows the efficiency of the different type of vehicles, and if you see the fossil fuels, it amounts to 13% efficiency. Fuel cell is 33, but the pure electric uh, it amounts to 86%. And if you take into account that uh, the efficiency, the, the, the difference to 100% is the, the negative environment impact, and if we reverse the graph, you can see how bad is the environmental impact with a different one compared to the electric. Okay, and this is the best part. This will speak to the people here, Steve. This one is actually which people will be interested regarding their pockets, you know, because this one shows the comparison with the electric scooters compared to a gas vehicle. And as you see, it's a $15 per 100 kilometers of fossil fuel. But if you ride an electric motor scooter, it's only 45 cents. You can do the math. Okay, let's talk about battery time because in the I past... I just found a new way to get to work. I know, and you know what? They're quiet too, which is awesome. So there's no noise pollution. Um, tell us about the batteries, how long they last for, and how long this thing will go. Start out with my one here. This battery can last uh, with uh, up to 80 kilometers. They can be equipped with a dual battery. So with a dual battery, it can go up to 80 kilometers. On one charge. On one charge. But that's a standard battery. And you can now get lithium ion, yeah, which are longer exactly, than batteries. Exactly. We're working now with a Canadian company. They just do the testing with a lithium ion battery. So you can triple the range with a lithium ion battery. So it can go up 300K. to 300K. Wow. And the weight will be uh, less than, than what it is with a... Uh, with, uh, and Steve, you're also trying to find environmental sensitive battery uh, technology as well? That's right. The, the, the lithium-ion battery, you don't have a LED, you know, and yeah. it has, uh, in terms of the cycles, it takes uh, three times more cycles than the lead-acid battery, so this one is uh, prolonged the time of the use of the lithium-ion battery, and uh, it's uh, vice versa affect the, 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 the positive environmental effect. So, Amazing. Steve, if somebody wants to come by the, one of these, and I know a lot of people, uh, people will, where can they find you? They can find us on uh, West 4th Avenue. We have actually a lot of dealerships uh, with uh, with these Motorino scooters. So we have in North Shore, we have in uh, Kelowna, we so have in cool. Victoria, we have in Squamish. Uh, so Motorino scooters, there's uh, many places they are sold in Canada. So they can just go on the website. Easy uh, way to do it, www.e-ride.ca. You can find everything you need. Steve, thanks so much. You know what, these things are also very, very affordable. You should pick one up if you're freaking out over gas prices. We're going to take a break and don't go away. When we return, it's a really strong man. We're going to be lifting up a car, and we're going to tell you how you can get a $1,000 okay. coupon for GM by getting rid of your clunker right after this. Thank you. Thank that you. was awesome. I didn't even wreck them. I would love to try this, but I'm a clown.